President Trump says he's bringing U.S. troops home from Syria. Yet some lawmakers believe he's declaring victory in the war-torn nation too soon. CBS 4's Nicole Killian has the latest from Capitol Hill. President Trump's decision to remove about 2,000 remaining U.S. troops from Syria would end the Pentagon's four-year military campaign. On Wednesday, Mr. Trump tweeted, We have defeated ISIS in Syria, my only reason for being there during the Trump presidency. Later, Mr. Trump tweeted a video. And we have won against ISIS. We've beaten them, and we've beaten them badly. We've taken back the land. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said in a statement, these victories do not signal the end of the global coalition or its campaign. The United States and our allies stand ready to re-engage at all levels to defend American interest whenever necessary. A senior administration official says the president made the decision on his own and that it follows his stated goals all the way back to his 2016 campaign pledge. But the move clashes with the U.S. strategy a senior State Department official outlined just over a week ago. I think it's fair to say Americans will remain on the ground uh, after the physical defeat of the caliphate until we have the pieces in place to ensure that that defeat is enduring. Republican Senator Rand Paul welcomed Mr. Trump's announcement. For the first time in my lifetime, we have a, pre a president with the courage to declare victory and bring the troops home. But it drew criticism from other high-ranking party members, including Lindsey Graham. If Obama had done this, we would be all over him as Republicans. Senator Graham said he wants to hold hearings on the potential fallout of withdrawing troops from Syria. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Capitol Hill.